Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final video in my series where we've been visiting each of Manhattan's observation decks to compare them to each other so you can ultimately decide which one you want to visit when you're in town. Last time we checked out the city's tallest observatory which was the One World Observatory at the One World Trade Center. I really love that one and I highly recommend it. Be sure to check out that video if you haven't already seen it. But today we're visiting the city's tallest outdoor observation deck which is at the edge. So let's get right into the video but before we do be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and consider catching up on the rest of the series if you haven't already been following along. To keep this comparison fair, I got the cheapest general admission ticket for about $40. If you wanted to upgrade, you could pay extra to visit the edge at sunset, to get a glass of champagne during your visit, and more. To find the entrance, go through the Hudson Yards shopping mall and take the elevator to the fourth floor. Make sure you come at the time listed on your ticket because they did seem pretty strict about timing. Then you'll go through security and wait in line before heading to get your photo taken and entering the little exhibit. The exhibit talks about the development and future plans for the Hudson Yards neighborhood, which is where the edge is located. At the end of the exhibit is the line for the elevators, and because there were only two of them, this made the line very long and it was a significantly longer wait than I had experienced at any of the other observatories. When I finally got to the elevator, the display was pretty similar to the one that we saw at the One World Observatory, as it showed New York City being built. But I don't think this one was actually showing the real chronological development of the city like they did at the One World Observatory. Anyway, when you make it to the 100th floor, the elevator opens up and you can take in the beautiful view. The building is just a few blocks from the Hudson River, so you can easily see New Jersey across the way. From the inside of the building, you can also look north and get a glimpse of Central Park. But of course, the main draw of the edge is the outdoor section, which is the highest outdoor observatory in the city. This section doesn't wrap 360 around the building like we've seen at other observatories, but you can still see the city from more angles than I had expected. Some cool features of the outdoor area include a small section with a glass floor where you can see directly below you, some steps that you can climb for a higher view or that you can sit on to catch your breath, and a bar. Another cool feature of the edge is a really nice looking restaurant called The Peak, which is on the 101st floor. Overall, the edge was interesting. It was really cool being outside so high up, but I do wish the space were better equipped to accommodate the number of visitors. For example, the limited number of elevators led to very long waits to go up and down, and the outdoor space was so packed with people that it felt a little overwhelming. If I were to do it again, I think I would skip the observation deck ticket and simply make a reservation for the restaurant so I could take in the same views while enjoying a nice sit-down meal. So this concludes our observation deck series. I really cannot believe that I went to all five of them, but they were really different from each other and it was totally worth it. Be sure to catch up on the rest of the series if you haven't already seen those videos. And also leave a comment if you think it'd be helpful for me to make one final video where I quickly list out the pros and cons of each observation deck and rank them in order of my favorite to least favorite. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!